Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to see how we can use MS Form to capture the data and submit that data into a Dataverse table. So we got many scenarios where uh, we wanted to create one anonymous form and place that form somewhere, anywhere on your uh, company's portal or if you are creating any Power App portal in your environment, then probably you would like to place that MS Form and uh, once the form is submitted you wish to save the data into dataverse not into any sharepoint or not within the ms forms so i am taking one example where i have created one form that is potential lead so i would like to open this form for my partners or for my customers where they can just visit my company's internet portal they can just uh, go to the site which is available in the internet and with the anonymous access i wish to my potential leads to submit this form and this leads could, uh, should in turn get saved into one of my dataverse table and this table could be uh, integrated with other possible things uh, but uh, right now the intent is I wish to just save all the captured data into one dataverse table and that dataverse table can be uh, used anywhere else. So I'll just start creating one form so I'll, I can show you that this is the simple form which I've created so if you wish to create any form you can just go to MS forms and you can just if you open MS form it will give you a page where you can just click on new form and you can give a title to your form and then start adding the fields to your form so this, the creation of form is very simple once the form is ready, so I created a sample form with just three fields and the fields are what's your company's name and what of the following services you are looking for. So this could be a my company's services which I can provide and the customer probably looking any of this. And you can have a, a multi-line box where they can just enter their entire uh, request description. And once this form is submitted, we want the data to be available into Dataverse and which can be linked with multiple other tables or with some charts, reporting and all that stuff. So I'll just go back to my, again, potential form. So consider that this is a simple form which is already built. And when you wish to collect the responses for this form or when you wish to make this uh, form right, you can simply say anyone can respond. So this will make this form anonymous and the URL which you are going to use, it can be submitted anywhere from the internet. So there is no authentication would require for this MS form. So that's why we are using this uh, lead uh, potential lead capture form. And now in next step, I have already created one table. So I can show you that this is my Dataverse, uh, meet.powerapps.com. I went to Dataverse. In tables, you can simply see all the tables are lined there. If you are having this table or uh, one specific table which already exists, so probably you may find that into your solutions and you can start building your, uh, if you wish to build your model driven app or canvas app, probably you can start creating via that solutions as in first place from the home. But as this demo is just limited to saving the data from MS form to the table, so I'm just directly went to this tables and we'll search for my table which I have already created so you can see like this is the table which already exists and this is pretty much simple table if you wish to create any new table you have to click on new and give it a name and once that table is created you can just start adding the columns to it so pretty much simple straightforward so you can see this table my table is containing few uh, fields and these are the three custom fields name is by default but these two are the described requirement and service inquiry these are two custom columns which i have added and for adding a column you can simply click on column and give it a name and type of column which you wish to choose straightforward and in advanced options you can just simply keep this as enable auditing or if you wish to have enable security so that's a different topic altogether so if you wish to secure column data but for this demo it's just creation of simple columns so I can show you that what type of column my uh, these two fields have so if I just click on added column so it says it's a single line of text and the format is text area and the other one is if I added the column service required 
So this is a choice field. You can see I have four choices, the same choices which we are having in potential leads, cloud services, and there is a numeric value we have to give against it so that we can save the data against these choices. So now you can see like I've given one, two, three, four for this. And this is the my schema of this table. Simple name, default, two custom columns, that's it. So now the third step, we are going to jump on creating one Power Automate. So whenever this form is submitted via this anonymous link and what should happen. So that marrying up would happen in our MS flow. So I'll just go to my flow.microsoft.com and I'll just start creating one instant cloud flow and the trigger I'll choose in next step. So in the trigger, I'll choose when a new response is submitted from my form. So I've just selected this. Now from the form ID, I'll be picking up my form which I've created. This is potentially, this is the form. And in the next step, I wish to read the uh, fields of this form, the submitted values of this form. So I'll use get response. Get response details and I'll just again tie up that to my potential lead form and then in, in the response ID I'll be binding this form the trigger which we're using so we are getting the dynamic content response ID which will bind this form to get the response details for this form specifically for this submission specifically and in the next step we'll be using add a new row in Dataverse, so you can just simply click on Microsoft Dataverse category and it will give you the add a new row. It's a premium connector as we work with the data worse then it's a premium by default. And when we choose the table name, so I can just start typing in my table name potential leads. So this is my table name. And as soon as I select the table name, it uh, popped up the required field. So name is the required. And if I click on show at once, all the rest of the fields I got. So simply name I can bind. If I click on this box, then I can, it, it just open the dynamic content. I can bind that to responders email. So probably like who created this form or who submitted this uh, new response form. And describe requirement, I can specify the, the same question, please describe. As we are having this question, please describe your service, this one. So I can go to my flow and bind this, we describe the requirement with this please describe field and the potential lead is a unique identifier for any entity instances. So this one will be actually using expression and create a just simple GUID. We'll use GUID so that it can be binded with the potential leads. So every lead would be having unique GUID. So nothing related to what we have on the form uh, fields, but this service in inquired, so you can see like it's a choice field. So we got all these choices, but we want to read this choice from our form. And when I select on dynamic content, you see, I don't get any value to be binded over here. And why that is because it's a type of choice and choice actually like saves the data. So if I just go to my column using this, values one two three four so here we have to do a bit of tweaking and that is using compose action so i'll just use one compose action just prior to add a new row so i'll use compose and in compose data operation we'll be using expression so what expression would be if my response is having this uh, category as cloud service then the value return should be one if it's it support it should it should be two infrastructure support is three so based on the dataverse value whatever we are having for this column so we'll be just doing a mapping i'll just go back to my flow and start writing an expression i'll use if expression if the value of dynamic content and now you see i have this which of the following service these are choice fields so i can use this choice so if value of the choice field equals, so because I would be just making a switch cases over here. So if it's equal to ID support, then it should be this. If cloud services, then it should be this. So before using direct uh, output, 
I'll be using function equals so you can see I got this equals in equals I'll be putting that dynamic expression which are the following service we are looking for and if it's equal to cloud I can I should copy the label from here so that I should not do any type of mistakes if it's equal to this piece then in the statement I'll be passing the returning the value as one otherwise I'll return the other value so which can be zero and I'll just copy this entire expression so that I can show you that in our notepad so I'll just copy this you can see equals output of this equals this one that means it's true then it should return value one otherwise zero so again like because we have multiple values so I will just remove this other value as zero and will copy this entire if statement once again from starting so that the inner if statement can be executed so you can see like the inner is if equals the output of this value is equal to it service then it should return to i'll just copy the label of it service and go to my notepad if it service is should be two otherwise i'll just again copy my if statement till over here otherwise the if statement if its value is infrastructure support then i'll just pass return the value as three and rest in case four or any default value you can return and we forgot to include the ending parenthesis for the earlier ifs the nested if so we'll just copy this again and paste it now we got our expression created you see if this entire expression is there so if this is this then return this otherwise this so i'll just save it and i will use the output of my compose into this service inquired and i'll just save it so now my three step four step simple flow is ready so whenever a new response is submitted a new row should be added so i'll just go to my data was table and now i'll see i'll try to submit a new form so i'll just uh, use this url to enter a new form response so i'll say demo company name so that we can identify once the data is added for it and i'll choose it support and the description need it support full package and i'll submit it and i'll go back to my flow to check whether it ran or not so it gave me a succeed and i'll just open this flow we'll check so in the compose output we got two as we selected the second it support as in choice option and this added a new row and we'll just go to dataverse to verify that can we see our newly added data or not so we just got our this new item added as need full it package and the service that inquired is about id service so this is how uh, we tied up our ms form responses to our dataverse table and this table can be in turn used with any of the model driven app or creating any power bi reports so that going forward we can analyze like what leads we are looking for so probably it's a right requirement uh, for me so probably it's for you as well so if you have any questions and if you like the video please do uh, drop your comments and subscribe to the channel thank you